Hey everyone, it's Ms. Megan from the Franklin Lakes Public Library and today we are going to make art out of recycled material. So April holds Earth Day and what we're going to do every Friday is make something out of what we have around the house, meaning what we have recycled. So today we're going to do an art project where you can either draw something like an animal or a garden. I'm going to draw a flower um, in like a field with the sun and then we are going to use our recycled materials and kind of fill it in. So instead of coloring it, we're going to fill it in. Um, you can use markers if you want to. I brought markers over here because you never know if, you want, if you're going to want to use them. But I also have a toilet paper roll. Um, I have a cardboard box of hot chocolate and then I have a whole bag of shredded paper. So the shredded paper is what I'm going to use to fill in my creation. You can color it. If you don't have shredded paper at home, you can always take a piece of paper and cut it up or you can use newspaper, magazines, um, cardboard, anything like that. So I'm going to be using this as my base. So what you would use for a piece of paper to draw on, that's what I'm going to use my cardboard for. So a few other things that you guys are going to need. You're going to need a pencil so that you can draw out your project. Scissors, just in case you want to cut up um, your shredded paper a little bit more. Or if you don't have shredded paper, you will need that to cut up paper or cardboard or magazines or newspaper. Um, and you're also going to need glue so that you can glue all of your shredded paper to your base. And like I said earlier, my base is going to be this cardboard box. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the box so that I use the inside because I want to use a plain background. Um, as much as I love hot chocolate, I don't want it in my picture. <laughs> and now I'm going to start drawing. So since we are going to be covering our project in paper, you're going to want your project to have like a wide, I guess, space. So if you're drawing an animal, you won't have an issue. But if you're drawing a flower, sometimes um, we draw the stems with just like one line. For this project, you might want to do it in a tube so that you can fill it in with the paper. So I'm just going to actually I'm going to turn my paper like this because I want to have a tall flower. And if you want to draw it and then you could always color it in and then put the paper on top of it. You could do it like that. Um, if you have colored paper, you can use the colored paper. I'm just going to use whatever is in the bag, whether it's white or not. So I think I'm going to start with the center of the flower. There we go. Okay. I didn't put too, too much glue on. You don't want to saturate it. Um, you just want to have enough for the paper. And I'm going to actually crumble my paper for the center. Um, and then just kind of, I'm not really putting it on exactly where I want it. I'm kind of just plopping it on and then adjusting it. And then you guys can do it however you want to do it. If you want yours to be a little bit more exact, you can have it like that. Um, but just remember, since we are using glue, it's going to take a little bit for the glue to dry. So um, you might have to leave it laying flat for a little bit. And then for the stem, I'm actually going to place these one by one on the stem so that it's straight and not crumply. And for that, I just did one straight line down. And the cool thing about this project is that it's going to have a lot of texture to it because you're going to be using recycled paper. So the pages, the papers might overlap. They might have words on them or different colors. So um, my stem right now, it's very overlapped. It has like a barcode on it. <laughs> um, so it's going to be unique to what you have at home, which is really cool because everybody's is going to be different. Okay. And then for my, for my leaves, I'm going to, I'm going to crunch my paper like I did with the center of my flower because I like how that came out. It came out really cool. Some of the papers are actually not crumpled, which like I said, gives it a little bit more of a texture. You guys are probably wondering what I'm going to use the 
toilet paper roll for. I'm going to cut it and I'm going to use it as part of the sun because that way it's round. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, I'm gonna do that before I do the rest of our flower. And I just cut off a little bit of it and I'm gonna put it aside. And I'm just going to glue it flat onto the project. So if you wanted to do some kind of sun like this, just be really careful when you glue it because it is a very thin surface that you're going to have to be gluing. You don't wanna to put too, too much glue on it because then you're gonna get it all over yourself. Alrighty. You might have to hold it down for a couple of seconds just to make sure that all the entire circle is glued down and there's no like gap or anything. Okay. So this is what we have so far. It's coming out really awesome. All right. Next is our petals. I'm putting glue on two petals at a time. Um, it's easier with when you're cutting the shredded paper because um, it kind of like falls everywhere. So if you put it on two petals, um, it gets two in one, which is really helpful. Okay, so my whole flower is covered now. I think I'm gonna fill in the sun with some paper too, because why not? That's pretty cool. Alrighty, we are almost done. I think I'm gonna put some grass on here. So I'm just doing like little lines with the glue for the grass. Alrighty. So there's my grass. I think it came out pretty cool. And you can always go back in if you want with color. So I'm gonna take my green and I'm just going to hmm, put little dots. Now this is an optional step. You don't have to do this. Um, you can just leave your project as it is once you're done. And then I'll go in with my sun. And then I'm going to leave my flower like it is because I actually think it looks really unique. That one came out so great. What do you guys think? I hope you guys had fun. See you later.